What's up, guys? Vic, Cambodian Holiday. Uh, me and uh, Tex Tanner had made a little trade. Um, it's been a few weeks ago, or something like that. Um, <laughs> the main thing that I wanted to get, like he, you know, he has a family, he has a job, all this stuff. He didn't put the one thing in the box, which is all cool, whatever. Tomorrow's my birthday, so. Of course, being the awesome dude that he is, he sent me extras up because this box is way too big to to just be that one vehicle. And he always puts a killer little drawing on there when he sends you something. And typically, he'll send you a drawing inside. And with this shipping being twelve eighty, there's no way that. He just put that car in here. So thank you, Tex, ahead of time. I just texted him, actually. When I got to work, it was here. My buddies, so uh, if they get here first, they'll sit the mail on my chair over there. So uh, as soon as I walked in, my homie said, yeah, you get a package. And uh, here it is. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. It's probably him texting me back right now. Yep. Hope you like it, bud. After Mike crushed you, crushed your mailbox. <laughs> guys, uh, Antarius did crush my mailbox, but any of you guys sending me anything, man, you don't have to try to compare yourself. To what Antarius did, I consider Antarius to be a pretty close homie of mine. Like we talk personal things and whatnot, and I just think he wanted to do something really cool. So don't ever feel like you gotta go hard like he did. If you guys send me a a beat up ass car, it doesn't matter. You know, it's all about sharing with one another. Trade it up on y'all today. It's a crystal. What you know about that, KP? Probably don't have that in Canada, do you? What we got here? Uh, this is what it looked like, man. Oh, uh, yeah. He, uh, I didn't know, like, uh, when he sent me that drawing before, he had sent me photos of an actual truck, because I used to have a 70 C10 with a vet motor, all this jive. And he sent me a picture this week and showed me this actual truck, 62, that he had. It's pretty badass. And that drawing, I guess, is how the real truck looked. Speaking of 62s, got some Lucy's in here. Never have too many of those. And he and I always uh, send each other tow trucks. William Witters just sent me a buttload of these the other day. He knows I like the Larry's towing. But yeah, me and Tex send each other records all the time, and uh, he sent me this guy. It says low toe on it. You guys can help me out. I don't know what that is. That's before my collecting time. Oh, dude, this thing's sick. Love these, man. My buddy uh, Bruce and Bobby T, and then uh, they also dig these things. Lead sled is nasty. 48, 47, 47 uh, Chevy. Y'all gotta bear with me. I'm getting used to this camera still. Yes, uh, oh, wow. Little Maesto. Uh, Chrysler 300. With a little help, some of these maestos like this, I don't typically collect them, but this one is pretty damn sick. Maybe a little bit of help. That can be nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. He knows I collect my 55s and 57s. Yeah. Sent me this little double pack. 
the 94, 95. Got the 57 with them old crazy 80s wheels. I remember those back in the day. And uh, it says steel fashion. I don't know if they used to call it that or not. I know it's purple fashion now. And he always sends you a sick drawing. And I've got a collection of these so far from Tex. Me being a, an artist of 40 years and a tattooer, um, I'm always drawing custom everything. In fact, I've got a half sleeve to do when we open today here in about 30 minutes or so. Oh, wow, man. This thing's crazy. A tow truck and a telephone maintenance bucket truck. Pretty sick. These, though, techs I may have to give to my sons. My one little guy, my Marley, my two year old, he loves like bucket trucks and stuff. And then my eight year old Riley loves tow trucks. So I might have to just be generous with these. But thank you, though. Cause they were they were freaking over one of these yesterday we saw like a cable truck oh this is a crazy thing that's pretty sick never seen one of those it's matchbox yeah so it looks like a dodge dakota Never seen one of those before. Got little KC lights on it. Some detail paint. Wheel swap as usual. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, Tex. Buddy. You killed it with this. You killed it with all this. But this right here, man. You could have just sent the one item that I wanted for trade. But if you sent just these two. This thing's sick. The Surf Nomad. Look at that, Richie boy. Bruce. That's nice. Yeah. Surf Rods. It's like a little Polaroid in there. Pretty sick. That's getting cracked. Go on the shelf. Takes you giving me so many 55s and 56 Chevys, man, that I didn't even know was out there, man. It's amazing the ones I've got now and they're all on this little shelf right here it's in front of me so when I'm tattooing or when I'm doing these videos I can look up and there's all these movie cars and all these customs and stuff right there and text you got like three rows of shit like just that you sent me the hundred percent Hot Wheels and all that cool stuff I got a section up there uh, Billy Witters I got a 57s and shit you've sent me uh, PJ the Camaros that you sent me um, several stuff up, uh, you name it that all you guys are giving me are right in front of me on a little shelf so I get to look at them all the time and here my friends this is the item that Tex didn't put in there and with me starting to collect in 2014 this says 2013 but even if it came out in 14 I guess the vultures have gotten them all because I never saw it and I have if you guys have watched my videos and seen my Instagram, I have a massive amount of movie cars hanging up over here, actually. But this is the one I could never get. It was like the unicorn. And this was all I wanted. In the original trade box, he sent me, he was going to send me this guy. And uh, a lot of you guys, uh, Champion DJK, uh, Del Mazinga, uh, a lot of you guys will know that the old black wall and the ultra hot wheeled uh, flat out 442s he had some of those in nice shape some still carded some um, that were cracked but were in great shape but I wanted those from him and this guy and uh, like I say we, we get wrapped up in trying to make everybody's boxes nice or grandkids and kids and work and all that kind of stuff Sometimes you leave things out. You don't mean to. I try to stay on it with you guys. And uh, my next box going out is going to be, uh, of course, I got a, I still got 
Radar I want to send something to. I got Brain Dead I want to send something to. Doug. Uh, the immediate next probably two boxes are going to be uh, Big Bad Small Cars. Bruce, you're getting one this week. I'm going to send it out. Tex, I'll probably send you something back just because. And then uh, Billy Witters, I'm going to be working on your customs as soon as I can. And he sent me some really good stuff and wanted some gassers made. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think. As usual, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, please comment. You're the only reason I make these videos. And uh, I looked. I haven't looked in a while, and I looked at my subscribers this week, and I'm up to like 190. I'm trying to get 200. I'm going to send somebody something sick uh, when I get 200. So, uh, let me know.